guys welcome back to a co come and wax my eyebrows with me because of course i'm looking the camera i go in and i really wipe them down with a pre-cleaner but because we at home i just wash my face i do normally go up first and i go in and trim all the unnecessary long hairs that we're gonna possibly remove anyway so that they could be cute after that we go in and I put them to how I shape them. I like my eyebrow shape something like this. So that way now I know what I need to go in and clean up. Which is all of that unwanted hair. Okay. Normally for my waxing uh, eyebrows, I don't use these because they're kind of thick. If I have a lot of hair, it's possible I can use both. But if you're at home and you're trying to do some at-home self-care, you can simply cut it in half, cut it in pieces, cut it whatever to your ability. I just normally cut mine right down the middle. And as you can see, they're so fragile that all you need to do is cut half and the rest will break. So I can use this end or I could peel all the extra wood off. And use this in either way it go i just want it to where it's lightly and not covering my whole bra because i don't want to shave any pieces you know so go ahead and get your wax I haven't done a one-on-one -on, -one on waxing yet once you get your wax on your stick you twirl it blow it please blow it if you're using hot wax beads make sure you blow it before you put it on somebody's skin because it can burn also wear your gloves but this is my eye when i'm doing clients yes you blow it to where the consistency doesn't fall off the stick. Now, I usually have to close my eyes, but because I'm trying to do this on camera, I'm not going to be able to close, but I am going to go up to how far all the hair I need removed. And while it's sitting, you do a little lip. You let it dry because you don't want to pull it. I don't know why I got my eyes closed, but you don't want to pull it while it's wet because then it's just going to rip. It's going to break. So give it time to set. Normally, I press it so I can make sure I got out of hair. And if I'm working on a client, then they will have both eyes closed and I'll already be setting the other eye. But because I'm working on myself, we're not going to play those games. Now, sometimes I will leave it on the stick. Sometimes I won't. Either way it go, I make sure I hold the end. And you do a little test to see if it's ready. Because I'm a little hot and sweaty, it's kind of taking a longer time to dry. But other than that, once you do that, course i always pull the skin taut no matter what area you're waxing your client eyes will be closed and then pull now once you pull you automatically apply pressure to whatever area for me i don't really apply pressure anymore because i kind of got used to it and then for the left on wax you, you just well normally you could take the end of it and it'll peel it off but that means this has to be stuck on a good piece of hair and I hate it when my nails are long. Yeah. Yep. And then I go in. I continue to brush to see if I left anything I don't want. If I do. With hard wax. You can re-wax over and over. Now, I wouldn't recommend just a lot of times over and over. However, it's not strip wax. It's hard wax. Hard wax doesn't adhere to the skin. It adheres to the hair. Meaning, I can re-wax it. I can re-pull it. And it won't hurt. Remember to blow it. Twist it so your wax will stay on one side. And we're going to go in. And I didn't like up here kind of. It didn't get all the hair I wanted right there. And so I reapplied. I always give me a good lip. So when it's time to pull. And then um, normally with the leftover wax, I would normally just go in and pull it. However, one of those is a mold and I have to make sure. And let's pull it off. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to show y'all the hair. Oh, well. I'll show you next eye. And boom. We go in. 
and apply it and see is it into the eye is it the way I like it if not now this could be more cleaner I could go in a third time with the wax or I can go in with my tweezers normally I go in with my tweezers now I'm not gonna show y'all my tweezers process because it still hurts and my eyes still water up so I'll be right back okay see the difference mm-hmm and if your client has a little redness, irritation, aloe vera gel is a trick. As soon as you apply, it will take the redness away. I normally wait to the end, but it's up to you. But yeah. Yeah, why not? I just go in, do the exact same thing for the other eye. Whoopsies. Uh, press it up. Cause I like to see if I got any just wild, wild, wild excess of hair. And I go against it, cut it off, if it is. And most of the time it is, I can't see it. Yeah, then I go in, brush it back to, like I said, the design I like. Cut another strip, cause why not? We we saving money. We we this one popsicle stick gonna be used what four times? Yeah, ooh. or maybe two, depending on how good your first rip do. Sometimes they're tricky. So of course I make sure there's no loose wood on it because you don't want a splinter or you don't want your clean stuck on here. I get it out the pot. I twirl it, blow it. You know, not too long, not too long to where you get this consistency, the stiff consistency, but six consistency. Wow, back, but cool enough to where it doesn't drip off stick, and also cool enough to where it doesn't burn because the eyelid is definitely. And then I go in, apply it, spread it out. Get all the areas I need. Create a lip. So I can be able to pull. Let it dry. And once you kind of touch it to the skin, just make sure it's adhering to it. Um, Mostly for my clients, I put a little powder for I wax it so it doesn't take that long to adhere to. But because I am my own, you will yank it, apply the pressure. And voila, let's see how much hair we had. Let's see. We had a few pieces of hair. We had a few pieces. And being that this is black. But you can see where my hair had grown out. It was dark. Oh, yeah, I got to touch it up. And where I removed the hair, it's lighter. Whatever you forget, like I said, hard wax, you can go in and reapply. If the whole eye don't need it, don't put it on the whole eye. Make sure you blow that wax. Because I do have a few. Not that. That's not a burn. That's what we need to clean up. I had a burn. I actually had an eye burn. And it hurt so bad. Now, because this is tricky with this camera and this light, I'm going to try to see what I can see. How close I can get without taking my eyebrow off. Because it's hard to look in this camera, too. And then try to wax it. Get it. Let's see. And if not, and two, remind yourself if you don't get it all, don't beat yourself up. Get your tweezers. It'll pull all them little hairs out. But I don't like the tweezing process at all. It hurts worse than the whole snatch to me. I just don't like it. So I'm trying to see how I need to angle y'all because this is. It's easy to do this eye, but it's harder to do this eye in the... Okay, that might have got it. Let's see. The few pieces I need. Because it's hard to see on this side. Like, close up. Because the closer I get, the harder it is for me to see. Oh, see? That's what I mean. That's exactly what happens when you don't let it dry. Don't worry. It's going to happen to everybody. 
it gets the best of us. If you catch it, roll it up on your stick and finish letting it dry. And then go back and pull. You get some sticky little, use a piece of the wax you just pulled up, it'll pull it right off. And boom. See, yeah, we got it that time. Now, is that wax or a burn? It's hard to tell looking right there. I'll look at it in the mirror, but, and look at that. I still can go in and do a little tweezing for like little bitty, bitty pieces if you just don't want to re-wax it. Or if you want to just be like, oh, okay, y'all, my, my, my eyebrows are swayed right now. That's good enough to go to work. That's good enough to go to brunch. Then let it be, because who? My eyebrows was trash before. So, that's how you wax that, girls. Get you some good wax. I like black coral. I also like Cetaphil. It's a good wax, too. Get you some practice in. It's definitely going to take practice. Don't be afraid. It's just hair. You chop it off. It may grow back, depending on your age. <laughs> but... You know, it's just hair. I've waxed mine off before. This one actually is growing back in because I waxed it off playing with my daughter. She was trying to make me watch a TikTok one day while I was waxing my eyebrows and trying to watch her TikTok. I turned my head and I came back and it's all that was gone. So as you can see, it's still trying to grow back. You see how thick this one is? So yeah, it's just hair. But go ahead and subscribe and like and comment. Be sure to share my channel so all your friends can follow family whoever y'all see you guys later with another tutorial or how to peace